Portland's Thompson Elk statue is expected back in its historic home along Southwest Main Street sometime in 2024. That according to the Portland Parks Foundation, which helped make a deal with the city to bring the statue back a year and a half ahead of schedule. Here's their plan. Portland Parks Foundation commissioned the design and engineering work, including a seismic upgrade, recirculating pump and graffiti resistant coating. They're pitching in $160,000 from donors. Then taxpayers get to foot the rest of the bill. The city will handle construction, already setting aside $1.5 million in the 23-24 budget. The grand total for all of that work that's planning to be done, it's a cool $1.9 million. 1.3 of that is for the fountain and the statuary, another 600,000 for street improvements around it. If you'd like the complete breakdown of those costs and itemized receipt, if you will, well, you can find that from our segment on Friday. Just go to the KGW YouTube channel and check it out. But after that segment aired last week, many of you filled our email and voicemail inboxes with messages like this. I don't know if ridiculous or stupid is a better word for putting a statue of an elk back up for $1.9 million. It's down. Don't, why don't we leave it down, uh, put the money towards the homeless, and just leave it as a little tiny park. Uh, maybe they could do that for $5,000. I'd be willing to come down and donate my time uh, to do that. It's just too bad that there's people dumb enough and stupid enough, if I would use the right word, to want to waste $1.9 million on an elk. All right, thank you, Mike. A number of you feel like Barbara, who wrote to us, I'm just furious that as a taxpayer, I'm paying for the restoration. Why don't the people who destroyed it pay for it? But the elk at a million plus to put the elk back, why didn't Antifa pay for this and all the criminals that defaced it and through the criminal system? To have us taxpayers pay a million and a half dollars to put the elk back on, when Antifa destroyed it is just ludicrous. Some of you, like Robert, wonder if that money could be used for something else instead. Rather than pay that $1.5 million to put the elk back up, where the idiots are going to ruin it again, it's going to become a target. Why don't we give the money to the city to put fix the potholes that they're supposed to be doing with that $0.10 cent gas tax increase? That's my opinion. And we appreciate all opinions. And while most of you were upset about the cost, check out this email with, that we got from Stephen. He wrote, having delivered civic works and public art for a generation, I would think we got a bargain for all that work at $2 million. To be fair, we're assuming he's being serious and not sarcastic. And we'll end with this from Kevin. I say bring them back, whatever the cost. It'll be much better in the long run and a wonderful statement. Portland is coming back. What a great symbol. We do not have a firm date for when the elk will be back, just that it's sometime in 2024. We'll keep you posted as that process moves along.